Have you ever snapped the cable on your bike? Basically, we can have up to four cables on our bikes, two cables for the brakes if we have me mechanical ones and two for our derailleurs. If you run hydraulic brakes and just one by system on the drivetrain, then you need only one cable. That means it is super precious uh, for you. The question is why some riders do snap chains. There are three situations uh, basically. Uh, it is in my opinion very difficult to do that, but how to avoid snapping the cable, that's what I'm gonna tell you within a couple of minutes. So this is my rear mech cable and I should start by saying that 99.9% of us cyclists use the steel ones. We don't have Kevlar ones for example, but the steel cables uh, which are extremely durable and strong. These steel cables are made of some little smaller pieces as you can see here and this can take thousands and thousands of gear changes, thousands of kilometers uh, on the bike unless we get into one of the three situations I will mention right now. Situation number one, there is some friction, too much friction between the steel cable and our housing, for example. Situation number two, our steel cable gets rusty because rust basically <laughs> makes our, our cable disappear and also creates more friction. And number three, unless we bend the cable so many times until it's, it gets broken. So friction, rust and breaking the cable will cause snapping it. Now, how can we do this on our bike that we snap the cable? All right, so this is the cable and this is the small bolt that is assembling the cable to the arm of my rear derailleur. And please note what's happening while I'm changing the gears. Can you see that the cable bends? Yes, it does. So its shape changes right here. Of course, different derailleurs will have different routing. Sometimes it bends even more. And so we are able to break the cable. Do you know when? If this bolt will be over tightened because um, when we over tight this bolt, we squeeze the, the cable uh, right here and then we only change the gears maybe 200 times, 300 times, 500 times and finally it will just snap. So do not use too much um, force here on your uh, bolts when you, when you assemble the cables, both rear derailleur, front derailleur and your caliper brakes. Uh, and you're not gonna snap the chain, the, the cable by breaking it. Here's the second thing we can do right on or wrong. Uh, I'm now changing the gear into the lowest one, just like that, all right? Now, shifting down the cassette, then I always clean my cable before doing what I'm gonna do, which is opening my uh, housing and just looking what's inside. And there is nothing inside, and that's right. But when we leave water here or some dirt, there will be more friction. The water is the worst because uh, the cable, when it doesn't have high quality coating, it will get uh, rusty and it will snap. So that's one situation. The second situation, even more common now uh, for the bikes, is having internal cable routing. So this cable would go straight into the, into the chain stays. And the chain stays, that's the place of the bike where the water often just gets in and it stays there. So if you wash your bike very often, if you ride very often in the rainy uh, terrain, there is some risk that your cable will just uh, get rusty and will be snapped. My riding buddy has done this twice on his Scott because of the internal cable riding and because he loves washing his bike with the water. So make sure it's pretty um, just clean and, and dry inside and then no cable snapping. Same applies to the guides that we sometimes have under the bottom bracket, like this one. The water isn't the problem here because it will dry out very easily, not as in the chain stays or in the housings. So that's not the problem here. But just use some brush and ma make sure there's no sand or some, some mud or anything uh, just collected here. In this way, we prevent our cables from snapping. 
And the final and third situation, this is the old uh, SRAM or even yeah, SRAM attack uh, shifter. Uh, this would apply mostly to the road shifters, uh, I would say. Some people who are not sure how to um, replace those cables, uh, they will bend the end of the cable by not doing it properly. You have to make sure that this, uh, this uh, hole that you will have on your shifters is just matching the other one so you have to shift down uh, to your highest gear on the rear derailleur and lowest gear on the front derailleur so that there will be no bending for your uh, cable because when once you bend it here it can snap under maybe after doing some thousands of uh, gear changes so this will be the, the last one assemble the cable just as it says on the uh, manual and then you won't snap your cables